there is another Hakka style famous in Hong Kong that we're keen to explore. Having gained insights into both Bak Mei and Dragon style, two Hakka systems originating from the East River region of Guangdong province, that style is Southern Mantis. As a longtime Northern Mantis practitioner, I've been keen to check out this art for a long time. In fact, ever since I first saw it on the BBC series Mind, Body and Kick-Ass Moves over 20 years ago. Confusingly, Northern and Southern Mantis have absolutely zero connection, either historically or technically. They are about as different as you can get, and it's pure coincidence that they're both named after the same insect. There are several different styles of Southern Mantis, each one being quite different. Probably the most widely practiced is Jiao Ga, meaning Jiao family, which came to Hong Kong via Lao Soi in the early 20th century. One of his students, Ip Soi, was instrumental in promoting the style, and it is his younger son, Yip Bat Wing, that we're about to visit. It felt surreal being invited to film in the same school I'd seen on TV all those years ago. We were joined by longtime Southern Mantis practitioner and fellow YouTuber Arthur Luck, who was kind enough to help us with translation. I am the second son of the Grandmaster Yip Sun. Our Kung Fu is called Jiao Ga Mantis. I want to tell you the main purpose of our Kung Fu. Our Kung Fu is to want to get a power. The power, everybody has it, but this power, if I ask you to push out, you cannot. When you touch the electricity or fire, this power can kill a person. Our Kung Fu system is to training to get this power. For, for example, you know what? Uh, I take it like that. He will like that. No, this is not the first class. If I hit him, he will feel it that just like a car. Both foot to lift the ground. But it's the second grade, Sambo Jin. You will see from his formula, you see his power. Sambo Jin is the foundational form of Jiao Ga, and I can't help but see the similarity to the various Sanjan forms I've seen in the Fujian arts. For people who are very seasoned with uh, Chinese martial arts, if they know what they're looking for and how to analyze forms, and they can start to piece together uh, what actually the training there is. This is the last baby. We can say the first way, the last formula. Fat Sao. Fat Sao is in Buddha hand? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be in terms of the beginning, beginner stage. This is towards the latter end of the beginner stage. So now he wants to show some different Qigong exercises. This is the first first class Qigong. Um, what is being demonstrated here is actually uh, internal skills and deep uh, 
uh, muscle uh, contractions so that you can actually retract the testicle to, so that if you were to get struck, uh, struck in that spot, it doesn't hurt. Oh. Here, demonstrate iron, iron body conditioning. So you want to try? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Straight on a few. Okay. <laughs> 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 Who needs a punch that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> so I asked my student to show the yoga man is stick former. We call this the Sam Pong Pictures. He's showing the leg power. The leg, the neck, the throat. The neck power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Many people put it put in here. It's uh, not proper way. I will put it here. On right now, actually on the Adam's apple. Yeah, yes. on the floor. Ouch. <laughs> some some other guy put it here. Yeah. Cheating. I've seen yeah. that, but this this is completely different. Yeah. You see other guy put it here, boy, like that. Yeah. I will like that. See. How long does it take you to develop this? You. About a year. At least this. But I haven't done three years long. So these are the, in Chinese it's called iron rulers, but uh, in the West which is called the size from the Japanese name. Um, so we just want to demonstrate our set. Uh, this is called uh, uh, this is our hammer fist training. So it's building up not only the hammer strike but also okay. the palm. As okay, well. do you come here. It's my turn to get hurt today. <laughs> <laughs> Just here. Okay, this time. Okay. You you just uh you don't uh, to receive my power. Oh, use power. Use power. So I oh, okay. just keep my hand up. Okay, okay yeah. <laughs> Ow. One more. One more. Can I change hands? <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on, go on. It's okay. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> I see. If you hit 
yeah, yeah. here. Yeah. I will run away. Yeah. I will not stay here. So as far as the iron qigong, um, I'm curious how you train it. Is it from just doing the forms, or is there um, some other kind of training to to develop it? We have uh, one form. It's called hak qiong gong. You see his body. You see him, his body. So here, even though it looks like we're just moving our hands, it's actually a body training exercise. Right? From superficial, to just see two of us is uh, just uh, put the power in the head. So, but at the same time, we're clenching our our stance, our pelvic floor, and it continues up throughout the rest of our body. The kinetic chain. Okay, so not just the hands doing it. Except yes. because actually, if he's very strong, my hands won't be able to close it. Yeah. That's right. This, this. I won't go to the toilet. The toilet. Someone there. Yes. Uh. The. Yes. Uh. Basic. So training the cheekbone. So you're squeezing all the muscles yeah, from here. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And also um, about the, the kicking to the to the groin. So you're training the muscles to no. pull them inside, or what's happening? Uh, I hold the automatically, it's not the muscle. Just <coughs> the ball or the ball. No need, no need. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. But you have you you fighting when you fighting with someone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you're, you're training, training it. it. I mean, you're building up the, 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 the your energy, also your breath work, and obviously you're just gonna take muscles to move things. But it's for it's instantaneous contra uh, retraction instead of just doing this. Mm -hmm. So no, no, for, it, it pulls out. No, no need for preparation. So yeah. you can control it. And the way for training this is within. I think that was my main question about most of the hard qigong is. The hard qigong is contained within all the forms that you're doing because a lot of the forms mm. you're using a lot of power. Yeah, hard, yeah. four, five. Mm. So you're saying, yes, the so. basic is uh, just like they uh, they perform the form. The basic. So third jong is a partnered exercise that we have in within the system. There's different kinds of jongs. Um, this one mainly focusing on body conditioning from the top, so you're doing the collarbone, the chest, shoulder flex. Another type of Okay, hit and hit by me every day until you feel blood painful. No way. <laughs> Yeah. How long have you been training? Um, on and off for many years. Uh, started as a kid in, in New York um, many years ago. Under his uh, own direction. So he followed my uncle. Okay. My mother's brother. Yeah. My mother's brother. Mm. He followed. Ah. Okay. Right on the spot. Right on the spot. There you go. Oh. Bam. Hey. Oh, oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll pick five. My hands were doing that first. <laughs> <laughs> but just like how the internal works, all this is powered by our internal mechanics. So uh, you train, you build it up, obviously, so that it doesn't take the pressure. Mm -hmm. So I'm standing here telling and talking to you at the same time as you're here. Mm -hmm. right, so instead of the... Yeah, so yeah, the, so the, it's just the, naturally there. <laughs> you build up that time, that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, you build it up until it's natural. Yeah. But just like how our techniques are built to become instinctual, so should your body. So that you can have these different patterns, not just hitting uh, yeah. You have to receive it too. Do you want to try this time? You, I, I did the last one. Do you want to try this one? Uh, yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, this is the. Okay, we'll get dragon for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
In the final episode, we will meet another Zhao Garmantis master, Han Yun, who has made his own developments to the system.